Hi, this is Greg from N5D, and today we're going to talk about how to open up your third eye. Now, a lot of times people will get premonitions and uh, dreams, uh, visions within their dreams of things that haven't happened yet. I know that for me, that's that's happened quite often, and I documented one of those in my previous video about the tidal waves, the uh, three massive tidal waves that are coming, but in actuality, they're really just waves of energy, uh, transformational energy. So what's going to happen is, you know, when we dream, we basically um, see things in metaphor. And as I explained in the last video, you know, if you if you have overwhelming thoughts, you're going to see things like a big tire rolling at you. But once you eliminate the fear, that's when the magic happens within your dreams. And that's when your dreams become more prophetic. Okay, so you want to get rid of as much fear within your lifetimes and you'll start seeing your dreams become more futuristic. Um, I'll have dreams about being on <laughs> spaceships and uh, UFOs and uh, things and events that haven't happened yet. So it's pretty cool. Now, I know a lot of you, when, when you meditate, you know, you close your eyes, you get in that relaxed state. And when you close your eyes, I know many of you will see like a bluish or a purple kind of swirling around going on. Or you might even see some kind of a, maybe a white light moving around. That's the beginning stage of opening your third eye. You are so close at that point. But what happens is a lot of people kind of give up because that's all they see and they think, well, that's as far as it's going to go. That's your cue right there to let you know that you are so close to, to having that occur. I know that when, when I go to bed at night, right before I fall asleep, I get visions. Now, let me preface this a little. In 2007, I had uh, sleep apnea. So they had to do a sleep study on me and they hooked all these electrodes up all over my body. And uh, I figured, I, I, you know, they tested me on, you know, to see what was wrong with me. But as it turned out, what they found out is that I have a rare sleeping anomaly where I go instantly into the dream state and I stay there all night. The stage after the dream state is uh, that's where you get your deep sleep. That's where what they say is all, when all the healing goes on. But uh, I get zero. I don't get any of that. I stay in the, the uh, dream state all night. Matter of fact, do you ever catch yourself just like dozing off and your head bounces back up again? I'll have a dream when that happens. By the time my head bounces up and back like that, I'll have this dream that, that feels like it was three, four hours long. But anyway, what we're talking about right now is right before you go to sleep, uh, you're really tired, shut your eyes and start doing that meditative state thing. Just put your mind into that med meditative state like when you are meditating um, and start seeing that, that purple or blue or purplish blue or the white light or whatever. Start seeing that floating around. That's when you're going to start getting your first visions. Okay, Your mind is in the alpha state at that point. And not only are you susceptible to getting visions, but you're also more apt to channel. I can talk a little bit more about that on another video, but we're not going to go there this time. But like I said, many people do give up too early, um, you know, and they, and they get to that state where they're so close. They're seeing the lights and the colors and everything moving around, but they give up at that point. So... One thing I want to talk about too is, you know, what, what you're putting into your body. Uh, you do not want to put fluoride into your body and that comes in many forms. Of course, it comes in water and toothpaste, but they also put it in cer certain foods that you'll find, you know, on the market. So be, be sure that you're, you're not ingesting fluoride of anything, any, any kind, because that will calcify your pineal gland and that's one thing you don't want. Um, so that's that's pretty much it. You know, if you're seeing those those lights that are going on, you're really close. Try working on this at night, right before you go to bed. Make sure you're really tired, and try to hold these thoughts and that that 
you know, alpha state um, long enough while you're still cognizant to see the visions. And once that starts happening, what's going to happen is you'll start meditating um, without the need to be asleep or tired. And you're going to start getting those visions in the, basically the waking state through the meditative state. So uh, it's really exciting. Uh, and they'll start flooding in. Um, it, once you open up that floodgate, <laughs> it's open. So I wish you all the luck in the world on, on this. And like I said, if you're, you're getting those colors and stuff, you're really close. Uh, just keep pushing forward and it's going to happen real soon. That's it for now. This is Greg from in5d.com.